the state committee hires the state chairman. So that's the highest echelon of Republicanism. Members of the state committee came to me and asked me if I would run against Senator Luger in 2012. I was stunned, really was. My response to them was largely like this, well thanks, very kind of you, very nice, very flattering. But what did I do to you? <laughs> you know, why throw me under a bus like that? And I totally put it out of my mind. And then election day 2010 arrived. And to my utter amazement, we led the ticket, which is to say on election day of 2010, I got more votes than any other person in the state of Indiana. Over a million votes. No state treasurer's ever had that happen before. We got more than 100,000 votes in excess of what Dan Coates received in being elected to the United States Senate. And as you know, Dan Coates literally crushed his opponent. Wasn't even close. Well, with that election result, I started getting more and more calls. Please, please, run for the United States Senate. And my response was still pretty much the same. But I got so many calls, got pestered by so many friends, I finally said, okay, I'll start to check it out. And so I started calling the Republican County Chairman around the state of Indiana saying, you know, I haven't decided if I'm going to do this. But if I would decide to do this, I want to know, would you support my candidacy? And ultimately, the day before I made my announcement, we had 82% of the county chairman. I have to understand, and I've been around politics a long time, I was expecting this. During the last 48 hours, several of them picked up the phone call and said, Richard, you know, I'm really for you, I'm for you, but please don't put my name on that list. Don't release my name. And I said, that's fine. But the day of the announcement, we were still able to release a list that showed 75% of the Republican county chairman support this candidacy. Richard Murdoch, proven conservative leadership. It's time.